Greetings, greetings, beautiful beings. Thank you for joining me on today. If you are here, there's a message for you. All I ask is that you chew the meat and spit out the bones. Welcome. Spirit guys, angel guys, the divine ancestors, please give me clear and precise messages for the collective on today. What do they need to know? What information, clarification, and no confirmation do you have for the collective today? something about some bondage that we have on the mind at this time, something that is holding the energy captive, a reason for forgiveness may be necessary. We got clear aliens, which is your sense of smell, something nostalgic in the air maybe. And this is karmic. So whatever you're going through in the mind's eye, it may be scents that are triggering you at this time. We have wish fulfillment, so that is good. Maybe the daydreaming is the, the wishing, the mind is overworking because we've planted a seed. And when we think about that seed that we planted and the watering that we're doing by taking action, right? Uh, we can imagine what that is going to look like when it comes to bloom or to harvest. But it can also make us impatient in the here and now because we can foresee things that are coming. And they look beautiful and they look good and we want it right now. <laughs> but right now it's the seed. Your wish fulfillment is coming, Spirit said. Everything will balance out soon as in the reverse. The spirit is asking you to be fearless. So the in the reverse with the everything will balance out soon is that, you know, in the mind's eye, the restriction is we don't see how it's all going to come together. We can, we can see that we planted the seed and we can see what we know it can become. But the in-between phase, the waiting, the patience, the nurturing of it, the watching it grow, it's the enjoyment of the journey, not just... The destination that's part of this whole picture that you're painting spirit is filling in the blanks you see the seed planted you see what it can become spirit is filling in the in-between it's much like what came to my mind just a minute ago as i said that a moment ago um it was like if you look at a tombstone in a graveyard it has the the year that everything began for you and then there's that dash, and then there's the end date. But it's that dash in between that the people that are looking at the graves don't see. All they see is the beginning, the planted seed, the birth of this person, and the expiration date of this being. They don't know what that dash actually included, and this is much of the same. You may not know what this is, how the seed becomes this beautiful harvest, but that is spirit pulling it all together. So everything may not feel like it's growing. It may feel stagnant, it may feel stale. This is a time we need to really focus on mastering the emotions, not getting so caught up in the, I can see it, but dang, why is it not here? Because when we focus on the dang, why is it not here? Spirit says, I want more of that. They want more of reasons to feel this dang it's not here feeling because you put a lot of emotion when you're in you know when you feel defeated or you feel like things are not moving or they're not growing as you see they could or as fast as you'd like them to <clears throat> embrace what makes you you so spirit wants you to focus on your authenticity right now not just 
you know, what you're creating, the seed that you're creating, but what makes that different from everybody else that does that particular thing? What makes you you? What makes people want to get this particular service or product from you? I hope you all are enjoying this Mercury retrograde we're in. We went into Mercury in uh, Mercury retrograde um, August 4th, and it will last until about the 28th. Ooh, my cards are just blowing everywhere. Give me a second. All right, we got a nice little clump. Clumps always come through, right? <laughs> Ashay, um, transitions are happening behind the veil. So things are happening behind the scenes. The dash in between planting that seed and the harvest that it produces is, is at work. And you can't let your emotions be so chaotic that it then produces chaotic results for the manifestation of the seed you planted. It's like you see that little seedling in the pot or in the ground and you see it sprouting out to, to jump to harvest is to pick it right then. It's like, why would you do that? You're, you're jumping the gun. You didn't even have a chance to really grow. You have to have the patience to let it grow. And what Spirit is saying is that you, this transition is happening behind the scenes. Just like under the dirt. You can't see what's happening under there. There are things that are coming together. There are things that are digging deeper that are, you know, getting into position for this to become something. So have the patience with yourself. Forgive yourself for all this time that you've been like, dang it, why ain't I got it yet? Or this don't work because I just don't see it yet. Understand. The... The object is to enjoy the journey, not the destination. The destination is the cherry on top, but the, the journey through it because it's teaching you lessons as you go through it. Ashe. Mm -hmm. You held the power to free yourself. You hold the power to stop today with the, why ain't it happening fast enough? <laughs> to forgive yourself for all that time that you wasted on why isn't it happening fast enough and giving up on your intentions that you originally set. Have the patience for things to happen. Heard in divine time. Pressure. Look at the situation from a different perspective. Look at it from now that you know spirit is behind the veil, creating the dash in between. Have the patience and give spirit the grace to bring you a gift of abundance. It's like being impatient waiting for Christmas if you believe in that. Um, it's like that. It's only August. It's only August. Um, what seven? It's only August seventh. Then. And I'm waiting on Christmas. It's like Christmas is going to take forever to come because you are so impatient. <laughs> it's going to come when it's supposed to come. And that's, you just going to have to wait. That's what it is. I'll show you. You will conquer this. You will be able to pull it all together. You will be, um, it's all right to let your guard down. It's all right to not feel like that you're, you know, uh, we got backstabbers. But Spirit is saying, do you, anyway. <laughs> just do you and stand your ground against any adversity or adversary, stand your ground. Um, pure abundance is on the way. It's working. It's working. Be patient. And uh, is your heart as light as a feather is a question. And by that, Spirit is asking you, are you allowing things externally to weigh your heart down? Because when Judgment Day comes, when we have to come face to face again with the divine, it wants your heart as light as it sent your heart here. Asha. So, believe and so shall it be. Whatever you believe. I think I'm going to end it right there today. Truly spit out the bones and move gracefully through time and space. Ashley.